Hmm. Is that right, Miola? This is all I am to you. This is it. This tiny little pile of dirt and two little chunks of wood. That's all your dignity is worth to you. <sighs> and after all we've been through together. You know, I was pretty content on just staying buried in the ground, leaving Miola to do what he does. But then I decided, you know, come up and see how he's doing, see how things are going. And then I walk on casually over here to find this. This enormous grave. A grave for a reaper baby who you knew for what? Like a day or two? And you give him this massive tombstone, this massive grave while little old me, Ola's dignity, lives all the way down here in his tiny little two by four. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Now that is a tombstone worthy of a god. <laughs> Suck on that, baby reaper. Where were you when Miola really needed you? Anyways, I've pretty much said everything that I want to say. Um, it was good to see you all again. Say hey to Miola for me. I'm going to enjoy myself a nice old cozy nap in my brand new uh, massive old proper tombstone. See y'all. All right, everybody, Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to our Paradise Pugnacia series. We're back up here atop our massive plateau-y thing, and, uh, oh, wait a second. Oh, you've grown up quite a bit since we last saw you. We now have ourselves a very, very adult-looking uh, Guardian Rock Drake. <laughs> That's right. We hatched this guy up yesterday in his tiny little egg. We left him... Uh, we actually forgot about him, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I forgot about his tiny little butt, but uh, he's fully grown up now, and he's not quite 100% imprinted, which upsets me. 98% of the way there. So close yet so far. I guess we'll uh, we'll only have to dream of what he could have truly become at 100% imprint. But uh, before we get onto him, before we go and check him out, because I want to see how this guy measures up compared to our previous Parados Rock Drake. I want to see who's stronger, the Parados or the Guardians. Uh, but but that, that, that's going to wait for a second. Uh, let me go and show you what I've been up to. Uh, check out this. I built myself a tiny little bit of a koi pond. Um, how cool is this? <laughs> we got a little... Actually, no, I guess it's a coal pond. The little coal anth fishy thing in my bubbies down there. That's right. We got a little pond in the middle of our base. A little bit of a fishy... I don't know what you call this, but uh, we've got this. I've gone ahead and added a couple extra mods to our little mod pack here. A couple of Eco's uh, furniture mods or decorative mods or aesthetic mods or whatever you want to call them. And one of the things that this thing added was water. <laughs> which uh, I think looks absolutely amazing. I don't know why the uh, I don't know why the seaweed down there is blowing around. Somehow the wind still has effect through the water. I don't think that's how physics works. Uh, but yeah, we got ourselves a little pond. I couldn't help myself. I think it looks so darn cool. Uh, but yeah, these are our, actually four of them. We got this little fish pond here as well. This is uh, what we basically introduced to our little mod pack. I realized and I decided our castle here it was looking a little bit barren. I mean, it's it's obviously a work in progress, but. But seriously, it's it's just a lot of stone with a pillar kind of sticking out through the middle of it and a little tower. It's got a long way to go, obviously. And we could take care of that with vanilla, just regular structures and whatnot. Uh, but these mods over here are going to help us out drastically. And I think I might add a few more as we go, just, just, just to see. I mean, we'll, we'll kind of decide how our creativity is... Uh, going i suppose but what you can do with these and what's super duper cool is you can just build anything really like if i want a fountain in my base uh we'll get ourselves a fountain let's get us a large decorative fountain for example boom let's grab us one of those i want a, a vase wall or a, a wall fountain basically we can get one of those too there you go I actually have no idea what any of this stuff looks like i have spent very little time actually oh that's gonna be cool oh oh it's too oh this would this would have been perfect to place here before I went and, uh, you know, built our little pond area. But again, I guess we could we could place it over here, right? Right where my feather light is. Out the way, buddy. Out the way. I'm going to place down a big old fountain right here. And then I can, like, expand around it as we go. Ta-da! There you go! Oh, and then we got our little wall fountain. We can just sit that opposite it. Like, actually, it's quite small. That's, like, really, really small. <laughs> Maybe I can do this as, like, a tiny little, like, hanging one. Or it can, like, sit, like right on the little like water's edge like that so it's kind of like dropping water how am i walking on water right now yeah these kind of like little like foundations i suppose but yeah there's a bunch of really really cool stuff you can do in here this one here for example has um it's got little like i don't know what you call it. i can't remember terrariums it's terrariums 
Yeah. So, wow. Okay. This thing's a lot bigger than I expected. Oh, gosh. Uh, I might need a bigger base. <laughs> we're going to need a much bigger base if we're going to be placing these around. Uh, okay. For example, this would be a really, really good spot. This, this might actually look really, really cool. Uh, let's go. We're going to... Actually, this is more like a... I guess you could build a wall out of these if you really wanted to. Um, but we could go and walk this right up to this wall right here and place it right there. And uh, voila, we have ourselves Rockwell. I've just, I've just, okay. I uh, didn't mean to go and grab the aberration. We got little rock drakes. We got, we got a tiny little rock drake down there. We got rock drake eggs. Can I change it? Oh no, that's it. Elements biome. Okay, so I guess this is, yeah, a little, little, I don't know. Uh, thing about Bobby. <laughs> little aberration thing. So yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing around with these. You might see some pretty crazy changes happening around the base in the coming days. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see though. The reason I did introduce these though is because I went and built myself a bedroom. I can't remember if I showed this to you guys last episode. I put a lot of time and effort into this only to realize there's not really a lot you can do to a bedroom with vanilla items. Well, you got you got a chair and a and a bench stool that you could add to this room. Uh, we got a fireplace, a rug, and some trophy mounts with no trophies on them because we keep getting killed by every boss instead of killing them. Um, and that's really it. And a couple beds. So yeah, I think we're going to be adding a bunch of stuff. I was really proud of my ceiling. Like, I thought that actually turned out. Oh, I just had an idea. Oh, I just realized something. Um, we've got a mod that I actually haven't really looked into just yet. Uh, lighting. Uh, the light construction table. I guess this one here would be it. I think it's called additional lighting. It's made by uh, the same guy who made the like roller coaster mod um, that you may have. You may remember. We kind of checked that out a little while ago. Um, but this thing here lets you craft. Oh, wait. Whoa. This got more than just lighting in it. A bowl fire post. What? Hold on. Let me get two of those. Oh, we can put them out the front. We can get. Oh, dude. Oh, what a waste of potential right here that I haven't used up yet. Can I get a nice... I can get a nice chandelier. Except they call it a candelabra. I mean, that sounds pretty fancy. Not gonna lie. But but is it a big old chandelier? Small chandelier. I want a big one. That's a wall one. That's a table one. Can we get like a ceiling candelabra? <laughs> That's a funny word. Candelabra. Glow bugs. What? All right, I'm gonna get some glow bugs as well. A ring of fire? Dude, there's so much stuff here. All right, let me just type in here how do i how do i spell chandelier okay small chandelier wheel chandelier i guess that's what i'm looking for or oh, then there's the regular chandelier i oh, will go with the wheel one for now why not all right so i'm assuming these things are going to need fuel oh that's tiny man ah oh, it's better than nothing there you go <laughs> i guess it's meant for like smaller ceilings or whatever um Wait, what else did I craft? I crafted some... Oh, the glow bugs. Oh, let me check out these little glow bugs. These guys are going to look so cool. I don't even know how you're going to place these down, but... All right. And then these little totems. Oh, I could do these on the little, like, entrance into my into my room. Hold on. Hold on. Like that. I was actually going to put these at the front entrance, but... You know. Things change, I suppose. No, don't know what you want me to say. We can turn those on. Oh, that is already looking so much more homely, don't you think? And then we've got glow bugs. Uh, I guess the glow bugs, maybe you can just sit in here. Okay. Turn on. Oh, you can sort of see them. I guess we'll have to wait till nighttime. We'll, we'll, we'll wait till nighttime and we'll check them out. Anyways, um, let's go and check out this Guardian Rock Drake. That's what today's all about after all. And uh, if you guys do enjoy this video, if you're still enjoying the series, if you're having as much fun as I am, then please don't forget to go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're aiming for 750,000 subscribers. I can't even, I can't type the word Guardian while I talk. I'm distracting myself. We're going for 750,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, we are well on our way there, but we've still got such a long way to go. Uh, but thanks to everybody who has already subscribed. We have reached 630,000, I think we cracked the other day, which is a massive number. I'm not going to lie. I never expected to reach that. But uh, hey, me, you, together, we all did it somehow. <laughs> uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys. It's, it's honestly, it's a dream come true. Anyways. The rock drake returns, baby. Oh, it is a hungry rock drake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually had a message from the Pugnacia, um, the Pugnacia mod developer telling me that, uh, and I, I think I know this. I think I knew this. I don't know if I knew this, but there is actually food in here that we can craft up. You've got herbivore food and you've got carnivore food. Don't know how I forgot this, or maybe I just didn't know it. I don't know. But uh, what you can do with these little food here is, I don't know why I put them in my hot bar, but uh, you can go ahead chuck them in there 
and feed it. And it's meant to. Yeah, that's it. Wait, wait. That was full already, wasn't it? I actually don't know. I actually have no idea. You know what? Just, just drink one of those. There you go. I guess you weren't hungry. You were just low on health. <laughs> Anyways, he was hungry a minute ago before I started recording. So let's see what you're made of, buddy. Let's see if you can't even make it over my wall. All right. Uh, you're having less luck getting through this wall than most of these wild dinosaurs. So first things first, he's a lot slower than, uh, <laughs> than how Paradise Rock Drake. Uh, but we may be able to change that very, very quickly. Let's have a little look. Movement speed. It didn't increase by much. I'm not going to lie. Maybe Paradise Dinosaurs are just faster than Guardians because our Guardian Griffin was really, really slow as well. Hey, T-Rex. All right. 9,000 damage is pretty good for base damage. That's actually about what our Griffin was dealing. Uh, not to mention... I think our Reaper was dealing about 30,000 default. So, I mean, if you were to get this guy... I can't even get... I can't... Wait, I'm stuck on this rock, dude. If we were to get this guy up 300 levels, then... Well, we can uh, we can have a little bit of a test drive right now. Probably should have leveled up that health before we use the health potion. But what are you going to do? All right, movement speed. Let's get that up a bit. And then let's get that melee damage up. What I'm saying is, if we were to get 300 levels on this guy, get his health up, get his food up, and get his movement speed up, he may end up... A bit of a beast, but there's only one way to find out. And that's by, you know, going through the hard yards. He's already dealing 20,000 damage. So that is, a, that is a ripper of a start. All right. I think there's only one way to like truly find out. We're going to go and pay our buddy a visit. Centurion, my... I got to go put a teleporter up there at some point, don't I? We're going to go and say, hey, to Centurion is where I'm going with this. He's the only one who truly knows how to uh, level up my dinosaurs. He's kind of like a training dummy. He's like the... You know, like in every movie or cartoon, how there's like a training montage. And when did I die here? Day 26 at 11.26.02. Which gravestone? I don't remember dying here. Which gravestone was that from? My memory just me must be really bad. But we already knew that. <laughs> All right, Cardo. Get wrecked, buddy. So, another 15 levels. Movement speed's going to get cranked up a little bit further. And then a lot of melee damage too. All right, all right, all right, all right. I feel like we're ready for Centurion now. Yeah, like as I was saying though, Centurion's like the training montage. He's like in every movie when there's a big old training montage and like your main character comes out super duper strong afterwards. It's pretty much just punching Centurion in the face over and over again for us. Uh, anyways, for some reason, this is gliding a lot slower than his counterpart. A lot slower. The Paradise Rock Drake is a machine compared to this. But then again, I forget you can kind of like rocket into walls and stuff. Like you can do that. I guess it's not too bad. We'll take him for a proper test drive once we've got like a bunch of levels into him though. That is assuming that Centurion is actually home right now because Centurion isn't always here, but he is right now. Fantastic. How you doing there, big guy? Also, there's Crystal up here. What? All right. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Uh, sorry about the uh, unpleasant nature of my visit. But uh, thank you very much for 79 levels. Uh, all right. Sweet. Let's get that health up at least to half, half a million. We'll go and heal him up with one of those. Oh, that's what happens. I just realized. I didn't know this. So these Panacea Tonics... Not only do they heal up your dinosaur, they also dump its food. That's why my Tyranodon was so hungry yesterday. That's why we have our little carnivore food. I guess it balances it all out. Anyways, uh, movement speed. So I'm going to get this up to, I don't know, 250. All right. There we go. We'll get that damage up a little bit as well. There's still plenty more leveling to take place. Also, I just realized I've got experience potions on me. I can just give him an, ex we just give him an experience potion. Right after I find out how fast he is now. Okay, so. All right, if I can. Yeah, there we go. All right. That's an improvement. Oh, that's a big improvement. Oh, that's a monstrosity of an improvement. Come to think of it, I don't actually know how fast old Sprite, our Paradise Rock Drake, was previous to be putting levels into movement speed. But, all right, that feels much better. Maybe I just didn't persist long enough with our, our Guardian Griffin. Because our Guardian Griffin was super slow. And I think I kind of just gave up on it, like, way too prematurely. Okay, let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm going to put a little experience potion. 
Oh, these ones don't deal as much as I thought they did. Interesting. It only gave me 40 levels. And the rest, 65. I actually thought that was going to max him out. But I guess I'm kind of glad that it didn't. Because things get a little bit overpowered once you start doing that. So I'm going to get you up to a million health. Because why not? We're going to get you up to 350% movement speed this time. And now let's see what you're made of. All right, now we're talking. Now we're back in the old Rock Drake days. The old Rock Drake gliding days. <laughs> oh, yes. That is what I am talking about. All right, all right, all right. Now we got to test out that damage, which I kind of got to deal some levels into real quick. So 20 levels, chuck them all in there. All right, now we can truly take him for a test drive. Um, I'm going to try and snipe. No, that was a bad idea. There was a Quetzal there and I was eyeing it off. Like, I wonder if I could just casually glide on over to it and punch it in the face. Also, is that a legendary... Hold on. Is that a legendary Giga up there? Oh my gosh, this guy's fast. All right, you know what? You guys... Oh, I forgot about these little guys and their little sheep spawning. Damn, I hate these dudes so much. Thank you very much for all of your meats and stuff, dude. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a legendary Pteranodon. It is. Oh, sorry, Giga. What am I saying, Pteranodon? Does that even look like a Pteranodon, Miola? That is 100% definitely not a Pteranodon. Um, it's a Giga. A Giga. A Giga. Uh, I don't know if I want to mess with... Okay, yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know how strong Gigas are. Also, legendaries deal Torpor. And I don't know how much Torpor resistance my buddy here has got. Okay, I'm like freezing up this game. If we keep moving this fast, it is highly likely we'll end up crashing the game. <laughs> But as far as damage goes, we're looking at 68,000. So he's nothing game changing. Um, then again, we haven't tested out whether or not... Does he deal Torpor? Because a lot of these Paradise Dinosaurs do. He does. But he does kind of like slow dinosaurs down with his electrocution. So, all right. That's a pretty cool ability. He deals a chunk of damage, but I think he's going to be more of like a, a speedy maneuvering type of team for us. Have another one of those. Um, I guess have another little food blub as well. All right, let's get you back home because I got something else I want to test out that was brought to my attention by uh, Mr. Fista, the Pugnacia developer. This guy right here, our Primal Griffin, who I got so many cool naming suggestions for, but I still haven't come up with like a good one. Also, his eyes are probably the least derpy of all the Griffin eyes. <laughs> um, oh, and it's a she. It's not a he. It's a she. Oh, I don't know what I want to call it. There was so many good naming suggestions. There was a throwback to last Mega Modded Pugnacious series where we called it Milady. But um, it's, a, it's a female. So I guess... Oh, I got a good one. Oh, we're going to do it. Oh... I can't remember. There was actually a better one that I had, and I can't remember what it is. I was just thinking instead of Milady, like last series, I could actually name him. You ready for this? My man! <laughs> that is the lamest thing. All right, all right. That's that's a temporary name, okay? That's temporary. I might, I might rename that. Anyways, um, it was brought to my attention that our buddy here actually has another powerful attack that I did not know about when we were taking him for a test drive yesterday, okay? We're just going to find the right target to test it out on. I'm going to try it on this, uh, this Titan right here, okay? So supposedly, you know how Griffins have their big old dive bomb attack? Like when they hit the ground, they damage a bunch of stuff. Obviously, they do a lot of damage. Anyways, this guy sets off a bit of a napalm bomb. So apparently, well, I don't know what happens. I guess, I guess that happens. He sets everything on fire. Now that I, now that I see it, I think it actually rings a bell. I think I know, I think I knew this from last season. Uh, and it deals nowhere near as much damage as the other attack though. <laughs> that might just be because I've leveled this guy up ridiculous amounts. Or, no, that deals a bunch of damage. What am I saying? We nearly took this guy out in like three attacks. Dude, it's just slightly delayed. That's 624,000 damage just from that strike. Just from the impact alone. And I think I got some potions out of him too. So the reason we got so many of these uh, ghrelin tonics, we've got these red ones in my hot bar. We've got these green ones. And there's also another one. I think there's a blue one. Um, is because when you kill these giant titans, you get a bunch of them. And uh, I killed a bunch of titans recently for thumbnails. I was trying to get a real... Okay, that one there. I guess we didn't hit that one hard enough. But you've got 10 more levels. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let's get you nice and strong. Probably should have put him into health. 
I'll regret it one day. Hopefully not. Oh my gosh. I keep sliding off the side of him. Uh, hopefully we don't regret it today. Urgh. That's the way. That dealt, I think, about 700,000 damage. Let's go again. Yeah, that's what you get. And uh, you know what? We can just finish him off with a little bit of a tap. Tap, tap, tap -roo. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Um, oh, also, by the way, I don't know if it's going to be out yet, but um, I, I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak. No, not much of a sneak peek. I'm actually going to have a new banner on the channel uh, any day now. I don't know if it'll be up today, tomorrow, the day after, but uh, we are going to have a new banner. The I've got I've got an artist currently drawing something up and he's showing me that it's like 90% of the way there. He's just making uh, a couple last minute additions, but make sure you head over to the channel, which is obviously youtube.com slash Mr. Miola, um, and you're going to see a brand new banner at the top of my screen. No more Mr. Miola with a face next to it. It's going to look awesome. It's going to, it looks awesome. I, I can, I can tell you right now it looks awesome because I've, I've seen a sneak peek. Um, but yeah, make sure you go ahead and check that out when the time comes. Anyways, yeah, I think you might see where I'm going with this. Yes, this desert is full of trauma for me. Every time we come here, we lose our most powerful dinosaur, literally. We've been here twice and we've lost our most powerful dinosaur twice. Um, but... I really, 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 really want to take down one of these primeval dinosaurs. 772,000 health. And, uh, well, we do some pretty good damage when we go striking down on dinosaurs. So what I'm thinking is, I mean, we should be able to possibly take this thing out with like two hits. And if it's only two hits, how bad could it be? How bad could... I mean, I said that yesterday, right? I, said, I came here pretty confidently yesterday and I backfired. But how bad could it possibly be? There's only one way to find out, right? Let's go! Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Okay. No, no. Okay. Okay. He only dealt 12,000 damage. Okay. 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 Uh, let's try again. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. There it is. Ah, we did it. Yay. Prime move for Megapithecus hath been slain. And we got to a nice chunk of Prime. Oh, we got 50 levels. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. Whoa. Maybe... You know what? I'm feeling pretty confident. Maybe we turn our attention to old Spinebreaker. The end of all hope is... <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't worry. Don't fire up. Don't get upset. I'm not going to go and fight the uh, Spinebreaker boss just yet. The Spinebreaker, that is potentially the strongest dinosaur in the Pugnation mod. Anyways, actually, it's not. There's something even crazier. But we'll, we'll focus on that when we get there one day, all right? For now, we got 50 levels. So, you know, a bunch of them are going into melee damage. You know, a bunch of those are going into health because made that mistake last time and don't plan to make it again. 200. No, that's 2 million health. 2 million health now. And we probably don't need any more movement speed. So the rest is going to go into damage. All right. Now we're talking. Well, we've taken down a gorilla. Are there any more primevals in the area? I know there are. We saw a whole bunch of them just the other day. Um, But I don't know where they went. There was, of course, the Broodmothers. There was two Broodmothers over here. I could try and take these guys on. I might even be able to one-shot it, to be honest. I think that's the only way I confidently go down towards this Broodmother. Because uh, I've had a lot of bad bad experiences with these giant spiders. Let's go. Let's go. What have we got to lose? Okay. Nope. And we're out. And we're out. And we're out. Don't plan on getting poisoned today. Do plan. I'm killing you. <laughs> yes. That's what you get, you pile of trash. Thank you very... I don't know why he gives hide, but that's what you get, buddy. That's what you get. And what I get is 33 more levels. You know what? Let's get some more health. Let's get some more health. Yeah. 2.5 million health. Even more melee damage. All right, all right, all right, all right. How much damage are we dealing now? That it? 175,000. Also, I got levels of my own. I got six... Oh, snap. I maxed out. That's it. 3 million experience. We've ma we've maxed out our character. Oh. Oh, that's kind of sad. So these are our last 63 levels. <laughs> oh, I should probably put this chest piece on as well, shouldn't I? Oh. All right. You know what? Let's just melee damage this baby up. I want to be able to, like, defend myself when the time comes as well, you know. And on top of that, I guess a little bit of stamina. And then... What was that? You guys saw that, right? Wait, oh, that was, that was Spinebreaker. Who's, someone's fighting Spinebreaker. Hold on. Who's fighting Spinebreaker? Oh, what? The wicked poison wyvern is going, wait, what? 
You serious? Uh, that is unexpected. Okay. This is like the ultimate battle right here of Pugnacia versus Paradise. You've got one of the end game Pugnacia bosses going up against one of the Torpor gods from the Paradise mod. Except old Spinebreaker here with his like tech blasters don't seem to be striking the Waven. In fact, he's not even dealing any damage to it. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. I guarantee if I was piloting that Wyvern, I'd be dead by now. I guarantee it. I guarantee if I was on the back of that and that Wyvern was in my control, the poor thing would be dead. But in his own terms, he's absolutely slain. He is slain it. He's taking it. He's taking down 10 million health. How strong is this Wyvern? I got to get that Wyvern out of there. I need to distract it. I need it. I need, I need it. Or do we just let it keep on attacking the Spinebreaker? And then like, you know, take whatever loot the Spinebreaker ends up inevitably dropping. But look at this. The, po the poison wyvern ain't taking any damage at all. This is quite an unfair battle. <laughs> I'm going to let them keep fighting. I'm going to let them keep fighting. Because at some point, a spine break is going to go down. And we're going to be there to go and uh, steal all of the loot from it. <gasps> oh, it's going to be so good. In the meantime, I think I should leave them be. And I should probably... What in the world? Is that a primal? I think there's a primal trike up here. There is, isn't there? Yeah, look at the problem track just firing off cannons into the distance. Sorry. Oh. Oh, we nearly dealing one million damage. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, snap. All right, let's actually, let's actually see if we can knock over that one million dollar. One million dollar. That one million damage milestone. It's, it, it only works when we're like ground and pounding on them. 950,000 damage. We're so close though. Oh, hey, Quetzal. Oh. <gasps> Legendary Quetzal though. Sorry, buddy. 900. Oh, I didn't even go up that much. Wait, did I level up movement speed or did I level up melee damage? I don't even know. I'm losing track. I'm losing my mind. Anyways, I was actually eyeing off this primal Spino over here. I was kind of thinking he would be a pretty... It's level 940 as well. Oh, that would be so cool to add to the... But it's right next to this thing. And we've had bad experiences with this thing. I don't know. 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 Oh, I really want this though. He looks so cool. He looks so darn cool. Look how blue he is. I think I got to let it go. It's bad. It's bad time. It's bad time. That's all there is to it. Oh, he gave up. I think he gave up. He did. Why'd you give up? You had it in the bag, buddy. You had him sorted. There was nothing he was going to do to stop you. Oh, no. Me, on the other hand. Oh, he wants me. All right. Well, I mean, I could go and test out this bowler. This handy old little bowler on him. This, this could actually work. Oh, it did. Oh, you've got to be kidding. He got one last little shot off as well. Oh, dear. Hold on. Hold on. All right. I know that I said I need better, better methods of dealing torpor, but I guess we're just going hand to hand for now. We taking this thing down. I don't care. This thing is potentially a boss killer. This guy here was giving it. Giving it to the old spine breaker over there. Uh, with this guy in my in my grasp. I may be able to do the same. And I hit him one extra time. Why did I do that? You're so bad. You're so bad, Miola. Just open your eyes for once. You might have just lost a whole chunk of levels because of that. So we just knocked out a wicked poison wyvern. Yeah. I know. It happened that fast. If you blinked, you would have missed it. <laughs> Let's get this done. So he's currently level 1,243. All I got to do is place down one of these on him. And I think he's going to instantly tame up. So let's try it out. Oh, but I want to see. I want to see. Oh, I want to see like. I want to see his taming effectiveness. Because I'm not going to be able to see it. He's just going to eat it. Ah, oh, stuff it, whatever. 1243. Get it in there. There it goes. Nice. 1,850. Nice. <laughs> that is ridiculous. All right. All right. All right. My man. My man. My man. My man. You've done well today, buddy. Also, I just realized Frankie wasn't equipped in my inventory. Uh, my man. Just, just pop inside of your Pokeball for a second, will you, buddy? Just hop inside of there. We're turning our attention away from you for, uh, for a short... For a short little second right now. And we're turning it over to our wicked poison wyvern. 
Oh, dearie, dearie me. Let's find out what this guy is actually capable of. All right, he can't fly backwards, just for the record. He has a much bigger turning circle compared to our Griffin. That's going to take some getting used to, and he's relatively slow. Um, okay, good to know. Good to know. However, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, what? Wait, what? I just got to, I just got, oh, no, I just got to repeat that just to make sure that my eyesight's not deceiving me. 388,000 damage? Um, I think, I think this wyvern might be a little bit too strong for its own good. Wicked dinosaurs, especially wicked poison dinosaurs. Oh, I've got to go test out his ranged attack. Wicked dinosaurs are meant to be used for their, uh, you know, knockout ability, guys. Their knockout. This guy deals 400,000 damage default. What does he hope to be knocking out? He gonna, he gonna, fit, he gonna knock it out and finish it off with every single little, like, blow that he deals. Mammoth, I'm sorry. You're my test dummy, right? <laughs> okay, so we've got a ranged attack dealing a quarter of a million damage. Hey, buddy. Can't just creep up on me like that. That is not right. I bet I've got... What's my C attack? Oh, I can pick stuff up. Uh, X. Ooh, what does X do? I think X just slows down, right? X is your, like, whoop, stop on the spot. Yeah, it is. Okay, control does nothing. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Watch this. All right, if I could actually uh, aim accurately, that would have been pretty cool. Uh, I've never seen one of these Astro Cetus guys dies. All right, you just die. Just die. Just die in one shot because that's, 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 that's all that your life has planned for you. This guy, on the other hand, space battles, baby. <laughs> that is cruel. That is so cruel. Also, this guy just defying gravity. Oh, no, no, no. He falls. He falls. Oh, I've never killed one of them before. I just got my first space whale kill. Or desert whale, I suppose. What do these guys give you for harvesting them? Oh, okay. Hide. What is that? Am, 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 amber, ambergris. A waxy substance secreted by the astrocetus. Used to create ord ordnance for the astrocetus. Oh, okay. I did not know that. I've, I, I had no idea. Astro. Oh, how do you get the saddle? Oh, here it is. Um, used to craft. Oh, hold on a second. No. Wait. What? Did, wait, what? What's it used to craft? Ordnance. What does that mean? I assume it means either the saddle or the weapons that the saddle shoots. But I don't see either of these two options. Text shoulder cap. Oh, this stuff? No. No. I don't know. Am I too dumb to work this out? Probably. All right. Well, we got the stuff anyways. That's kind of cool. All right. I guess it's time to level this guy up. I don't think I'm going to put any more into melee damage right now. I think that would be a very, very silly idea. He also got... Oh, my gosh. He's got he's got over a million health already. He needs speed. Speed is his, is his weakness. So, I guess we just got to go and whack some levels into speed. In fact, every single one of them and see how fast he gets. Hey, buddy. How you doing there? Giant worm. <laughs> You're dead. You're absolutely dead. Okay. 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 Two. Okay. We've only got two more levels. All right. I'm going to take this guy home. This guy is unbelievable. This guy is our, by far, by far, strongest dinosaur that I've ever, I, like, okay. I don't, I mean, I figured that taming up a dinosaur of level, you know, nearly 2000 was going to be strong. But uh, this strong? No, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that one bit. Dude, you are a machine. Level 1900. Wicked Poison Wyvern. And he needs a name. So, guys, get naming down below in the comments. I know. I know I've been a little bit lazy with names lately. Uh, but I plan to fix that. I fixed that very, very... No, what are you doing? I just... Oh, my gosh. He's fast. It kind of reminds me of Game of Thrones Season 8. I don't want to drop spoilers. But who's watching that show anymore, right? When the giant... Can you come over here, buddy? When the giant ice wyvern is like... Noom, zooming around through the castle. Zooming around through... Oh, gosh, I can't even remember what the place is called. Castle Black, the wall, all the rest of it. He's literally just, like, defying physics. It looks ridiculous. Um, kind of looks like this. Also, that might have even been Season 7. Also, uh, yeah, you overshot the base there a little bit, buddy. 
So uh, I guess I'll I guess I'll let you be. <gasps> I also realized I missed the opportunity. I was meant to show my little glow bugs in here, but now it's now now the ah. Oh. That weather would have been perfect for it too. You know what? That took a lot longer than I expected and it's not even nighttime yet. But have a look at our little glow flies. Oh, they're so pretty. It looks like they actually fill up the whole... Oh, that is so nice. Oh, this base is going to be amazing once we go and fit it out with everything. But you know what, guys? We're going to call it a day right here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain, those thumbs ups. But most importantly, have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. Ferner.